Hi, today we're going to create a slide shown with a, a cross fade transition effect. When we're going to click on the next button, we're going to go to the next image and obviously cross uh, fade will occur. If we click on the next again and again, once we hit the last image, the first image will appear because we're using a loop here actually. So the same about the previous button, exactly same thing. Obviously we're going backwards rather than forward. So if we go to our editor, together with the exercise files, uh, you have access to the CSS folder with the blank core.css file to our images folder. You won't have any images there. So obviously put some images which you will be using within your slideshow. Then we have index.html and JS folder with core.js and the latest uh, version of jQuery at the time of this recording. So if we open our index.html file, you can see we've got some structure of the page uh, ready here. So in between an opening and closing uh, body tags, we're going to start with a section with the ID of wrapper. Now if I scroll up a little bit, uh, in between the, the opening and closing section tags, we're going to create the div with the ID of container. And inside of the container, we're going to have div with the ID of image. I'm going to close the browser for now. Inside of the image div, we're going to create a few image tags. Now we are going to images and my first image is 01.jpg. Then we have width. In my case, it's going to be 425 pixels and height 282. Then we go for the alt attribute, which will simply be image one, obviously you can put some more descriptive um, uh, alt tag. Then we have first image will have class active assigned to it. And we can close the image tag. Now if I copy this and paste it uh, two more times, my second image is 02 and third 03, obviously image two in the alt attribute and image three. We're removing uh, class active from the other two only the first image should have class active. And after our image tag, closing image tag, we're going to create another div with the ID of navigation, where our previous and next links will be placed. So ahref with the hash and ID previous and the keyword previous. Then we have dividing line and we put another ahref with the hash and this one will have an uh, ID of next and a keyword next. Okay, so that's everything with the structure. Let's go to the next video and start working on our core.css file.